Hi everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. In this week's video, I'll be showing you how to draw a water drop or a raindrop. And then at the end of the video, I'll take this piece of work, a photo of it, and put it into Procreate and show you how to add water drops to it. For this project, I'll be using a 3.5 inch tile, a white charcoal pencil and tortillon, a white gel pen, and two blue pens. One of them is a Micron 01, and the other one a Uniball I Micro. I'll also be using some watercolour paints, and I've got some Winsor & Newton pan paints, a palette water and a couple of paint brushes, one big and one small. The ones I've chosen are a size 10 and a size 0. I'll be using some fine washi tape and creating my own stencil using a leaf shaped hole punch. So first of all I'll punch out a few leaf shapes out of a piece of cardboard and once I've done that I can cut them out into individual leaves. Before I prepare my tile, I'm going to mix up a few paints. So I'll add a bit of water to a few different sections on my palette, and then I'll choose a range of blue colors. So I'll mix up a few washes, and when I think I've got them to the consistency that I want, I'll get some scrap paper or a book and test out the paints to make sure that they are the colors that I want. Instead of drawing a border on my tile, I'm going to use this fine washi tape. So I'll put it about where I would normally draw my border and do the same on each side. If you're not using an official Zentangle tile, make sure you check your paper and have a bit of a test run with this tape to make sure it doesn't lift any of the paper when you pull it off. If you find it does, one thing you could do is just run the tape over some fabric and that will make it less sticky. Another thing you could do is use a hair dryer when you're peeling it off and that will just make it lift a little bit easier. So you can see now I'm using my biggest brush to paint inside these templates. I'll do one on either end using two different colours. And once I've very carefully lifted these off, it's really important that I let them dry before I start with another colour. I'm just using a cotton bud to lift any excess paint there. Now it's completely dry. I'm going to use another template, a different colour, and overlap the other leaves slightly. I find that if you take the brush from the edge and work inwards, you're less likely to get paint underneath. And I added an extra layer there because I messed up the paint a little bit. So using my very last one, this is quite dark, make sure that if you've got any excess water you can just mop it up with your brush a little bit and there I'm quite happy with that. You could put more leaves on if you wanted to. Make sure your paint is completely dry before adding any of the pens and I'm using the Mitsubishi one first because it's darker and it glides on a lot more easily. I find these pens really useful when you're going over watercolour or something that has a pigment because it, it doesn't clog up like the microns do. So now I'm going to go over all of these leaves and add some tangles. You could draw in your leaves or make your own stencil by drawing a leaf and cutting it out or use a bought template if you have one. I've purposely left the tape on there so that when I'm drawing my tangles I can draw over the tape a little bit and it just makes it easier to stay nice and neat.
I started tangling with the leaves that are on top first and now switching to my Micron 01 which is a finer pen I'll do the leaves that are sitting behind. Notice that when I'm tangling I divide the leaves into sections so that I can fit my tangles in these spots. And you can see it's not gliding on as easily as the other pen but that's okay and I'm quite happy for these lines to be thinner. I'm going to very gently lift up this tape now and peel it all off and you can see I'm left with this nice little border. To draw my water drops I'll first draw the shape and I've put a little bit of a dark edge on the top underside and below the actual water drop. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Using the colours that I used on the leaf I'm painting underneath on the inside at the top and underneath on the outside on the bottom. And I'll draw in a few more and do the same thing. Paint in, make the paint darker towards the, the line and soften it out as it comes away so that you soften that shadow a little bit. Each time I pick up a colour it's similar to what I'm using on the actual leaf. Because I'm using all blue, you can't really tell what colours I'm using. But if you were using different coloured leaves, I'd go with the colour that you've used on the actual leaf. So I'll do the same on each one of these water drops and then let them dry and come back with the next step. Now that it's completely dry, I'm going to take my white charcoal pencil and just put a nice little soft white highlight at the bottom of each water drop and then blend that in with my tortillon. I'm going to use a white gel pen now to make some stronger highlights up the top in that shadow area. So it's a little bit like when we do gems. If your paint isn't completely dry, you'll struggle getting this gel pen to go on. And it's not happening very smoothly for me at the moment, so I'll just give it one coat, let it dry, and then come back in and touch it up a little bit. So there's my finished tile, 
quite simple but very effective. I did another one using different colour leaves. I used half a sheet of watercolour paper and you can see where the colours overlap how they look translucent so you can actually see through them. I'm going to import this picture now into Procreate. If you don't know how to do that, I do recommend that you watch this video. I'll provide a link to this below. So here's my picture and I'm going to zoom right in. If I hold my finger down on that darker brown, and that changes the colour at the top. Now I go into my brush tool, select inking and technical pen. We'll test it out to make sure it's the right width. Create another layer so I'm not going to mess up my actual photo and hold it back a little bit, zoom out so that I can draw a water drop shape where I want it to be. Once I've got that I'm going to change my pen to airbrushing, select the soft airbrush. I'm now going to create that shadow like I did with the watercolour paint. Make the shadow darker up near the line and soften it as it comes down. Now if you find that you've gone a little bit too wide you can use your eraser tool to neaten it up a little bit. Go back to our pen tool to start airbrushing again. Then at the bottom of the water drop start from one end mirror the shape of that water drop until you get to the other end. Make the shadow darker up near the line by pressing down heavier with your pen. Now hold your finger down on that white, add another layer, so now we're using a white colour. So I'll change my pen tool and go into sketching and choose soft pastel. So I'm going to create that little highlight at the bottom of the water drop and it looks a little bit like our charcoal pencil. I'm now selecting my smudge tool at the top and choosing airbrushing and soft airbrushing. And this way I can soften the white like we would with our tortillon. And you can push that white where you want it. If you want to spread the white, go into the white. If you want to push, the see I've pushed it too far so then I can go on the outside of the white and push it back in again. Zoom out to see what it looks like. Now we want to create that highlight so go back into our pen tool, select inking and our technical pen again so we can draw that line at the top and a couple of dots and that will create that nice little glossy highlight. I'll just show you one more so I'm going to go back to my shadow layer and then zoom in on this leaf here and I'm going to select a darker colour for there which is that orange. So go through the same process, draw your bubble, change your pen to airbrushing, create your shadows. Hold your finger down in the white section to change our colour to white. Go back up to the pen tool and we need to go up to sketching and soft pastel. Make sure we're on that layer with the highlights and we can add our little highlight at the bottom, change to that smudge tool, soften that as if we're using a tortillon and then when we're happy with that we need to go back to the other pen and that's the pen tool and our inking and technical pen.
Now we can add that little highlight at the top. Now that you've got the hang of that, I'm going to zoom ahead and finish up this whole piece. And this is the end result. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. And if you'd like to post your work into my Facebook group, there's a link to that group below this video. I'll also put a link to my beginning Procreate video uh, in case you want to learn a little bit more how to use Procreate. So thank you for watching and until next time, stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, head over to my YouTube channel or there are a couple of links here on the screen and there's the subscribe button.